Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and thanks for being here. Today I'm getting into a very exciting video all about DNA repair enzymes. I've been waiting to make this video for a while and I'm actually glad that I waited because there's a new product out that I haven't tried. I'm probably gonna pick up, but also like I'm making my way through some other things. So I'm glad I waited. There are just, I feel like innovations being made left, right and center on these DNA repair enzymes. So I'm gonna get into the science behind it. I'm gonna be talking about one brand in particular, but I will mention a few others in this video. Everything will be timestamped below. If you're interested in anything that I'm wearing, um, this sweater, my makeup, you know, it'll be linked below and let's just get into the video. So what am I talking about? We're talking about DNA repair enzymes. So why are we talking about them? I thought you, Dana, love sunscreen the most. That's true, 100%. I think if you are not including sunscreen as a daily part of your skincare routine, you basically are wasting the rest of your money. But there are a few things out there, and I think this may change over time. I don't want to just say one thing and then technology changes. But there are definitely a few things that are out and about these days that do help in conjunction with sunscreen. And one of them is DNA repair enzymes. So because of the sun, pollution, stress, all of these factors in life, they cause little bits of damage to our skin cells. Over time, that damage shows up as fine lines, dark spots, I've got one right here, sagging, you know the stuff, you know what you're trying to avoid, and that's where the DNA repair enzymes come in. It sounds kind of high tech, but it's actually not as crazy as it sounds because when we think about DNA damage, that is what's happening when you have UV exposure, when you have pollution exposure, all of these stressors to your skin, and basically your skin is not able to repair itself. So what they actually are, are special proteins. It's kind of crazy. Um, and they help to correct some of the UV damage that your skin has taken on. Sometimes they are switched on, I'm gonna use that term, by light, and then other times they cut out. Again, I'm not using technical terms here, but you get the point. Um, little bad pieces of your skin to help repair your skin. But of course, that sounds pretty simple and it's not. The catch is those enzymes need to make it through quite a few phases. First of all, first of all, the formula has to be stable enough that they survive, just in the formula alone. By the time you pump it out or get it out of the bottle, it needs to still be there. Um, not like physically there, but the enzymes still be active. The other thing is, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but your skin is actually a barrier. <laughs> that's why when people say like everything is absorbed by your skin, that's actually not correct. That's the whole point of the skin. If everything was absorbed by our skin, we would probably not be alive. <laughs> um, our skin is a barrier. So a lot of the times when we are putting topical creams on, it's not, most of them are not penetrating deep enough into the skin to really do all of the changes that a lot of companies say. You have different layers of your skin and oftentimes they just penetrate the very outer layer. So we want these DNA enzymes to be able to penetrate deeper. So sometimes if the company says that there are DNA repair enzymes, but they're not in the right delivery method or they haven't even survived the bottle, then they're not really gonna do much for your skin. So do they really work? That's a great question also. <laughs> You're going to have anecdotal stories where they do and they don't work, but a lot of brands, especially the one that I'm gonna be mentioning later, have done clinical tests on it and they have seen the difference in people's skin over, I usually think it's like 12 weeks, but it could be even longer. I will put some pictures on the screen and you can see the differences here. Um, it's not gonna be these like massive differences where somebody has melasma all over their face and then all of a sudden it's gone, but they are sometimes more subtle. So I just want you to keep that in mind. And also just think about it this way, DNA repair enzymes are not the, the main star of the show. They're kind of like the helpers. So this in conjunction with your sunscreen is going to help with the sun damage, but it's not gonna be something that you use alone and it does the trick. If you're not using sunscreen, like I've always said, you're basically wasting your money. So now is the time that I want to get into the star of the show. This is Photozymes DNA Repair Youth Enzyme. Did I say it? DNA Youth Recovery Facial Serum. It has the DNA repair enzymes in it. So Photozyme is a brand that centers itself, almost all of its products, I think even all, but I, I, I'm not 100% sure, around DNA repair technology. And they have three different enzymes in their formulations that they use, which is, I would say, 
a little bit more rare than other ones, but we're gonna get into that in a little bit. So I'm gonna put this on the screen now just so you can read it as I talk about it. There are three key DNA repair enzymes in photozymes formulas. The first one is photolyase, and then the second one is endonuclease, and then we have glycosylase. So these are plant-derived enzymes that mimic the body's natural response to repair damaged skin cells. They are encapsulated in um, a liposome, which delivers the enzymes to the places that they need to go to work. Once there, the enzymes will attach to the damaged DNA and begin their work. They also combine these enzymes with other actives and antioxidants. So you're not just getting one thing, you are getting a little bit of a multi-pronged approach to your skincare. Now, I do want to mention, while all of those are the benefits and those are the types of enzymes that they use, let's talk about maybe like some concerns that we could have because, you know, I don't wanna just sit, give you one side of the story. Um, I have not seen any peer reviewed or independent studies on this brand. So that is one thing. And I think as we kind of go in the path of more and more of these coming out, we're going to see more research being done, but it still is in the infancy stages, but there also are reports, especially I found one in dermatology.com that says that this type of method with the DNA repair enzymes delivered topically to your skin can work. So. There's a little bit of both, but we still need a little bit more information as well. The other question I had is photolyase is light activated. And I kind of question, is that like lights in my house? Do I have to go outside? I mean, for me, I do go outside most days, so I'm not really worried that I'm not gonna get any light. Um, but it's a question like, is it artificial or is it natural light that needs to stimulate that to work? And then my last question, which it, I haven't really had this be an issue, but I do think that one question to kind of come up in conversation is how do these react with your other, maybe more active ingredients and products? So maybe a retinol or other exfoliants. That said, I use this in the morning. I'm not using any retinols, retinoids, anything in the morning. I'm also not really using many exfoliants in the morning. So I do find that it's okay, but I also do tend to use it at night as well. And so when I'm using it at night, it's kind of like, am I counteracting anything? But I haven't heard any reports that it does. So, so far I feel safe. So from my perspective, and I have used, this is my second full size bottle. I've used two travel size. I've used their vitamin C. I also have, this is the GFS plus the night serum with 1% retinol with the O. Um, but from my perspective, they are one of the more scientifically backed and grounded enzyme products out there. I would expect to see very gradual improvements in pigmentation or hyperpigmentation, um, sunspots, and maybe overall skin health, but it's not gonna be overnight. So if you are using it and you used one bottle and you didn't see any improvements, that's actually pretty normal. I wouldn't say you're gonna see marked results in just one application or one bottle, but over time, maybe months, even years, you may see more gradual improvements in your skin. Okay, so I talked about it a little, and I have talked about this in another video, but I did wanna kind of mention how I use it because I think how you use it is important. And I'm gonna be putting this pyramid up on the screen because I found this pyramid to be super, super helpful, especially just in my skincare routine as I'm trying to minimize, downsize, make things more simple. So on the bottom, we have our SPF antioxidants and DNA repair. Those to me are the most important things. Obviously SPF, I have preached that for years. If you're not using SPF, what are you doing? And then we also have antioxidants. So vitamin C is one of the big ones and then DNA repair enzymes. I am trying to incorporate vitamin C always, but you know what? I just don't see the results that I see from other products with vitamin C. So for me, I'm gonna say like, I use it when I can, when I'm trying out a new thing, but it's not like, the be all end all, especially if I'm using sunscreen. And then we have retinoids and AHAs. The reason that these are getting smaller is because you don't have to use them every single day. I do not use exfoliants like AHA or BHA on my skin every single day. My skin can tolerate it, but I just don't need to. Depending on the sensitivity of your skin, you can use them more often, but you don't necessarily need to use it every single night to see improvements over time. And then at the top are peptides and growth factors. These are really to optimize your skin. So think of these as like nice to haves versus the must haves. And then in terms of how you incorporate the actual product in your skincare routine. So I'm gonna just be talking about the main staple, the DNA Youth Recovery. I can use this morning and night. There's no issue with it whatsoever, especially it doesn't interact 
poorly. It doesn't pill. It doesn't ball up or pill and ball up are the same word. It doesn't um, get that soapy texture. It sinks in immediately. It doesn't leave a weird texture or um, finish to your skin. So not greasy, not matte, not dry. It's just done. So you can absolutely use this morning or night, but of course you will go through it a lot quicker. I use about two, three pumps and that's for my full face and my neck. Be careful, you wanna remember to get your neck. I feel like we all forget about our neck. So I am using quite a bit, but I also have it on subscribe and save. I think I get it for like 80 bucks and I have purchased this myself. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way by them, especially because I am more active and I'm out in the sun often. For me, that's okay, but I understand if that's a lot, I would say just use it once a day and then you could do it morning or night. It really doesn't matter. Just depends on your routine. Okay, so now that I've talked about Photozyme, I've talked about the technology, kind of the enzymes within, I did want to talk briefly about a new product, like literally came out, I think two days ago in my time. Um, I'm going to put a picture on the screen, but this is the Saatchi Skin Future Veil. They call it a firm and repair peptide cream, and it actually is more of a cream than a serum. I would say that this, the Photozyme one, is a serum, and it really like acts more like a serum. But I have heard from people with, who have tried the Saatchi Skin that that one is actually more of a moisturizer, and you don't need a lot for it to really work. So again, I haven't tried it yet, but I probably will be purchasing it, and then I would do a review on it. So I'm gonna put this on the screen, but this is what Saatchi Skin is claiming that this product does. It has cellular senescence. This is supposed to support skin renewal and firmness and overall vitality. There are also growth factors in there. They are biomimetic peptides that support skin regeneration. Then we have our DNA repair enzymes like we've talked about before. We have tripeptide 29, which is to help boost collagen. And then five fermented multi-minerals which are supposed to support skin's barrier function and boost skin vitality. So the DNA repair enzyme in this product is called Micrococcus lysate. I think I said it right. It's such a weird word. <laughs> and this is known to help skin recover from UV stress by supporting natural repair. So unlike a lot of peptide creams, because this is kind of marketed as a peptide cream, this isn't just about hydration and firming. It's also bringing in some of the direct DNA repair technology. But the difference we talked about with Photozyme, it has three different enzymes. Future Veil uses just one. The nice thing about the Future Veil though is it is a hybrid. You're getting DNA repair, you're getting growth factors, you're getting, what else? Senescence, um, peptides, did I miss something? You're getting a lot of ingredients and a lot of actives and you're also getting a moisturizer. Because again, I have heard that it is quite moisturizing, whereas I would not go to the Photozyme for your moisturization. Sorry, the light keeps coming in and out, but I am using natural light. Um, so I don't have you know, my full thoughts on this because I have not tried the product, but I did wanna mention it because Photozyme is not the only one out there with DNA repair enzymes. I think they are becoming more and more common and we're gonna see more and more about them. Um, the thing about Photozyme that I love, obviously, is that it has three of the different ones, whereas the Future Veil only has one, but I think the Future Veil actually combines a lot of other ingredients and actives that could be a really one and done, especially as a moisturizer. So. I'm really excited to try it and I think it's really exciting what they are doing as well. I guess the way that I would best describe the difference of these two products is with the Photozyme, we have a direct enzyme, multi-enzyme approach, whereas with the Future Veil, it's more of a hybrid approach. You're getting enzymes, you're getting peptides, you're getting antioxidants, you know, you're getting the whole kind of gamut of it. And I don't necessarily think that's bad. It's also more expensive. I think it's like $150. Okay. So here is the bottom line. DNA repair enzymes are real. They are new, they are exciting. And I think we're gonna see more and more of them in the future. Will I continue to use them? 100%. Will I continue to buy just Photozyme? Yes, with the caveat that I do wanna test more and more. And I really do think of this as like, you're getting your DNA repair enzymes from this versus the Saatchi skin, where you're getting it as like a multi-step with everything else. So it kind of depends on what you are going for. Also it depends on your budget. They're not cheap. This is a newer technology. So those are the kind of like the differences. And I just want to reiterate though, that these are not going to be miracle workers. This is not, I mean, literally sunscreen is your miracle worker and you can get it for 10 bucks. 
but these are the helpers. They help with any DNA repair that they need to do, but they're not gonna just brighten your entire face overnight. You have to use them for a long time. You have to be consistent and they are expensive. So consider that when you're thinking about buying them, but it's a really cool technology. I think we're gonna just see more and more about it. And I can't wait to actually dive into the products. I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into the brand of Photozyme, but I first wanted to kind of put out like the science behind it. And when I say the science, I'm not like putting up studies on here. We're talking like how I would talk to a friend. So, you know, there's so much more research out there. Go to Photozyme's website, start reading up. You can do as much as you want or as little. And I hope that this is just kind of like the primer for you. Um, and then we'll go into the deep dive of the brand in a little bit. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.